Uh, well, first of all, just really, just cloud nine excited right now. Really happy for um, for this group. We've been through a lot this year. It's been a, a lot of ups and downs, and you know, as the newbies to the conference and to be able to pull off a, a win against a very talented Niagara team that has just caused us fits all season long. Um, it's just a really, really great note um, to be advancing in the tournament. Really happy that we get to stay another day and uh, experience this. Great night tournament. Um, uh, please wait for the uh, final show. There you go. Congratulations, first of all. Like, Thanks, Jeff. Um, you know, 12 days ago, you guys lost this team by, I think, it was, uh, like 25. You know, what, what changed here today that you were able to, uh, you know, kind of turn that result around? Well, I think that um, we had a, a game plan defensively that we really were able to stick to a little bit better today. Um, you know, we, we tried to, uh, to defend the three-point line a little bit better. I know they still shot a great percentage from the three-point line. Um, and really keep them off of the foul line. Um, as much as they've been getting to the foul line, I feel like they've been getting there 25, 30, 35 times in, in the course of a game. Um, and I think that we did a little bit better job with that this game than we did for sure the last game, and it was a big factor for us. Also, I thought we rebounded the ball um, pretty well for us. Coach, speaking of that, everybody, oh, sorry. That's okay. Everybody's going to look at Christina's points, but it seems that she was at will in the paint. Uh, did anybody put a, a body on her at all during the game? Um, I think Chris is really hard to box out. I, I really do, and it's been the one thing since day one that um, we've really stressed with Chris, and it's the thing that she brings to this team and is most valuable for our team. Uh, and so we go in every game with Chris thinking, defend, and rebound, defend and rebound. And then the points for her just seem to come. She's very mobile on the offensive end. Other people can get her shots. She can get some putbacks. Um, and, and really, when she's rebounding, those are her best games. And, and I bet if you looked at the stats, probably the games that we win the most are when Chris has big days on the boards. Thank you. Uh, the really big play down the stretch was your offensive rebound, Christine, off the, off the miss as you were running out on the, on the shot clock there. If you could just talk about that, how you, you were able to slip inside and what, and what your thoughts were as well as you were running on it. Um, I thought Shelly was going to make it, but she didn't. Um, I thought she was going to make it, but we still box out regardless, just in case. And I felt like it wasn't anybody around me, so it was just easy. Like, I just got to go and put it back up. Like, you supposed to do. It didn't look so easy. You put the side. <laughs> oh, uh, well, I mean, shot clock was running down, so you had to take the shot. And you missed it. That's the one thing you want is your teammate to get it, especially a big board like that. She saved Brian behind. You know what I mean? So I'm thankful for that. It's a big board. I'm proud of it. Chevy, you know, you, you guys are down eight with seven up to play. You know, as a senior. Know, down by eight late in a conference tournament game, did you feel like not only your season but maybe your career was kind of slipping away at that point? Not at all. I knew, I don't even think I realized we were down by eight. I knew we were down, but we've come back from a lot of games, so I never I never really felt like it was slipping away. I always just felt like we could pull we could pull it out. I knew we could. So. And this is really for anybody, coach. You know, um, you played Iona twice. The game at their place. You know, you had them on the ropes. You know, now playing them for a third time tomorrow, is there a sense that that really could be a game? Who knows what can happen? Well, I, I think we're, we're happy to survive in advance, number one. Um, and number two, we know what we have up against us in Iona. Um, they're just so talented. They've got some unbelievable players. Um, and we know it's going to take our best game to be able to, uh, to play with them. Um, and, and we're not going to be able to make many mistakes. Um, we're going to have to for sure score with them which is a challenge for us, frankly. I mean, you know, they're, they're a team that can put up 80, 90 points, 100 if, you know, if you're not playing an AD. Um, and so we're going to have to score with them. That's going to be something that uh, has to be a focus for us. And it's going to be a great challenge, great challenge for us. Um, but we are so excited about the opportunity. Um, and just to be able to advance and have another shot at Iona, we're, we're just ecstatic. Ecstatic, we're going to rest up today and uh, give it our best shot tomorrow.